Well, this is the River Calder just by our offices and um, it did actually flood a couple of days ago, not quite as badly as the, the flooding up in, in the Lake District, but all the same it did cut the main A646 for quite a while. Now, of course rivers have always flooded for millennia, uh, it's a natural occurring meteorological phenomenon, but it just seems to have got a lot worse in the last few years. And now, what we want to know is what the reason for this is. If there's been a lot of tarmac gone down on people's driveways, more roads built, more stuff con concreted over, then evidently that rain, when it falls down from the sky, cannot permutate back to the water table where it lands. It's got to be forced into the rivers and into what's basically an overstretched drainage system that the Victorians built for us 100 and 100 or 150 years ago. So one of the ways that we can alleviate flooding in the future in this country, particularly if the rainfall is going to increase, as most meteorologists suggest is, is happening because of climate change and other factors over the, over the next 20 to 50 years, what we need to do is find a way so that to stop the rain going down into the rivers immediately or down into the overstretched drainage system which then overflows and goes into the rivers. And the simple way to do that is to provide hard surfacing that's permeable so that the water can actually get back down to the water table. Now in this country we seem to be continuing to pave over large tracts of, of our green space. In the last few years in London alone 32 square kilometres have been paved over. Now, if this was public space, there'd be a massive outcry. And the reality is, it's the size of 22 Hyde Parks. But because it's private driveways and off-road parking, it's been done little by little, and nobody really seems to have made much of an issue out of it. But what's happening is, of course, that all of that water that's falling on these private parking areas is going into our drainage system. So just for London alone, that's 32 square kilometers more rain going into the system than was a few years ago. This is a Hebden 40 eco paver, or permeable paver, cellular paving. It's got a variety of different names, ground reinforcement grid. Um, it's made entirely of recycled plastic, sourced in the UK and made in the UK. The waste is from here too. So, and it can be laid extremely quickly. Once you put a sub-base down, it actually, this top layer goes in faster than, uh, than tarmac or any other sort of surface. And all you do is then fill it with gravel, different sizes depending upon the applications, or soil that has grass seed in it so that it grows up and the grass goes back through the grit. It can then take a quite amazing weight, it's up to 16 tonnes axle weight which means pretty much any road legal vehicle in the U.